Virginia Apgar was born in 1909 in Westfield, New Jersey, alongside two older brothers. One brother died at a young age from tuberculosis, while the other lived with a chronic illness. Inspired by both her brother's health problems, Apgar opted for a medical career, earning her MD from Columbia University in 1933. Despite her success as a surgical intern, Apgar's prospects as a female surgeon were limited. She pursued anesthesiology instead, rising in the field to become the first woman director at Columbia's Presbyterian Hospital in 1938. In her research, Apgar noted a perplexing discrepancy. While the U.S. infant mortality rate declined between the 1930s and the 1950s, the death rate in the first 24 hours after birth stayed the same. Intrigued, Apgar began recording the differences between healthy newborns and newborns requiring medical attention. In 1952, she put her research into practice. Using health markers observed during the first few minutes after birth, Apgar created a test to assess a newborn infant's health. Dubbed the Apgar score. The test is based on the infant's activity, pulse, grimace, appearance, and respiration. A critically low score is cause for immediate medical action. Apgar's test soon became standard practice across the world and remains so to this day. By increasing the likelihood of baby's survival during their most vulnerable period, the Apgar score has saved millions of lives and continues to save thousands more every day. For that reason, Virginia Apgar is our 22nd Hero of Progress.